Maybe I should mix up the voices a bit. <laughs> just add a little bit more flair to it. Yeah, well, they were basically just like my voice, but a little, uh, and a little, ooh. You know what I mean? Like, well, it was the first time I ever tried yeah. to do it. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's the fair. first time I ever tried it's to fair. do it. So Malio was just me, but going, uh. <laughs> Yeah, Rick, Rick was just me going, ooh. <laughs> like, that was, <laughs> I'll do Rick all Welcome back, Billy everyone. Butcher. Oh, wait, oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize we were yeah. going. No, in. no, I think uh, no, I think I think uh, we'll uh, let that be the explanation as to why voices may sound different. If you have watched <laughs> us play Woodermith before, uh, if you haven't, you can go back and have a look at it. It's really just the, the sort of very first mission on the game. Uh, we thought we'd jump back into it because you know uh, it gets us to to test out our voices again and <laughs> you know just try something a bit different. And it's a fun game. It is. So, it is a good yeah. game. Kind of one of those indie hits you don't see as much of anymore. Mm. Like w- without some big publisher. Yeah, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of people uh, on YouTube like play bits and pieces of it, but it, it can get a bit of a long game, as as people have probably seen with our thing. We're we're playing like the very first quest you you get, and it's not that long, but it still takes multiple episodes. So you know, um, a lot of YouTubers have enjoyed it, but it doesn't. It that's still an RPG does take a while. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, so the Masters of the Iron Oil are back Oh, in. that's right. That's what we're called. <laughs> yeah. It has been a while. It has been a while since we did any wilderness. Yeah. Um, so we're probably going to be reacquainting, you know, um, sort of remembering where exactly we were at. I don't know if we were producing anything last time. Otherwise, I assume we're probably just going to go into another tile and see what, what befalls us. All right, so... A calamity has happened. Uh, so the enemies have advanced their plans over time. So these are the new enemies that are going to come along. We have three uh, legacy points uh, to spend mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. so that we could get rid of any of these guys if we really wanted to. Uh, but at the moment, I'm thinking I want to try and save the legacy points because you can use them um, to like upgrade stuff. Uh, and I don't think we've really had a chance to do that with these guys because we keep using them on this sort of stuff. So, you know what? I think we'll just take the fight and uh, just prove how badass the masters of the iron oil truly are. I'll take your word for it. I don't know what a legacy point is. <laughs> uh, so the legacy points are, um, are essentially, I guess, if you've ever played like roguelikes and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Where you've got like uh, uh, in-game currency for like after you've done something. Like, um, when you replay a game, um, uh, so, uh, you've got stuff to buff your p- people. That's pretty much what legacy points are. Fair enough. Uh, I think so far we've only... Yeah, we've only used them to uh, go ahead and stop the bad people from being as bad on us. Okay, uh, prepare defences. Does that have any... Def- I don't think we've got a- any defences actually prepared anywhere, as far as I can tell. Which means that if the uh, calamity... Or what is it? The, inc- the incursion happens... Um, uh, there's, the, they'll be wiped out really quickly. Uh, so, what I might do is a tier one defense, and we won't do everyone. We'll just have uh, Amos and uh, Malio. Rickle's good labor. Uh, yeah, I was gonna get him. I was gonna send him down here. Okay, yep. Oh no, I send him here to do one, uh, and then oh, we'll get you two to. Do that one, and then. All right, so we'll bolster the defenses so that they don't just get absolutely squashed the moment the uh, calamity yeah, happens. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Oh, it's uh, yeah, it helps. Oh, wait, why, why is this not? Okay, that that didn't register. Mm, there we there are. We go. Cool. All right, so you see that one's uh, done. Uh, it's the, it's still the first story, sort of first chapter, I guess you could say. So. Um, I'm not really too worried about uh, going ahead and building it up too much, but just a little bit to make sure that if we have to, we can defend it. All right, next. Uh, so we can craft stuff there, but what we might do is just continue to explore. So scout. Yep, let's let's all go and scout. Fight adventure and, and more stuff and things. Hell yeah. Loth right. Weaver works. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kelster's small moor has been revealed. 
And so this is a fight. Okay, I've got one. Favorite fruit. Mulberries. Fresh off the tree, best part of summer. I'll let you know next time I spot one. Okay, my turn. Favorite thing to fight? That's like asking my favorite rash. Least favorite then? Hmm. Might have to be Gorgons. Is that because they're over there next hill? It's the ick factor. Even worse than Thrixel. They don't just move, they spread. They're like walking diseases. And here I am, making a career out of them. <laughs> That's a real, like, <laughs> my <laughs> life now, look. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that old, right? Sometimes I wonder if it's not too late to start over somewhere. I wouldn't, though, realistically. You Bumbles need me too badly. You Bumblebees? Bumblebees? Bumblebees. That's quite a, an odd sort of affectionate yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you little bumblebees do this badly. <laughs> I am your queen. Well, we appreciate that. What about you? What keeps you here? Oh, you get to choose. Uh, let's get the first one. The belief that peace can be found. People have it in them, but no one can be at their best with gorgons creeping around. Get those out of the way, and the people will show you the world they're capable of building. Yeah, a bit much, mate. When you put it like that, it sounds big. Sure, it is. I don't know if that helps or if it's too much pressure, but if it helps me when we get close enough to hear those gurgly bellows. All right. Yeah, so there's a lot. There is obviously a lot of reading in this, guys. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's why, yeah. We just use this chat to play with our voices or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know how do you think we're doing. Um, comment below if you think it's, uh, yeah, we're doing we, okay. We are not uh, voice actors by trade or even yeah, hobby. Exactly. We just uh, we just do it when the game calls for it. Because, you know, we know not everyone is just staring at the screen reading every word. Uh, and if you exactly. are and you don't like it, just hit the mute button real quick. And <laughs> yeah, by all means, hit the mute button. Uh, but yeah, if you if you happen to think that we're doing a certain character's voice really well, uh, let us know. Uh, it's always, you know. Or if you think we're doing one really badly and you want us to change it. Like my Malio. Let us know that as well. <laughs> all right, so here we have combat modifiers and we got all heroes plus one armor and warding. Nice. And then these are the monsters we've got to fight. Mm, the typical batches uh, we've been doing, except bag moors. I think they're new. Okay, so that guy there, uh, the goal hopefully here is to get one of our heroes to that creature, and then hopefully it will then enchant and fuse with one of our weapons. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. With with as I said, this is the first chapter of like the storylines that you the game has, um, uh, and so yeah, we we have still very basic weapons and stuff. So any one of us aiming to get that uh, and and sort of enchant our weapons would be great so to begin with I'm just gonna move her up here infuse that once again if you've never seen the game uh, before uh, by all means go back and watch our previous episodes if you want it gives a bit more explanation to it but in this magic isn't so much throwing fireballs as it is infusing items and scenery around you and, and using them as your weapon and that's what we're gonna do Hit him with Ooh, that splinter bar. So, boom. Which I find is a pretty cool and unique way of magic. Yeah, no, it is. I I did enjoy that. I thought that was a clever way to do it. Yeah, because it still lets you, you know, uh, throw a fireball by interfusing with a furnace, or you know, a fireplace, or something of the sort. And uh, otherwise, it feels kind of cool. Just smash something to pieces and then fling it at your foe. Mm -hmm. Get Rickle up front. Alright, we'll get Rickle up here and we'll get him to guard so that he gives bonus. And also, if anyone gets too close, uh, he'll attack them. And then, obviously, we'll get Amos to shoot at this guy. Yeah! Ooh, big damage. Wow. Alarm. Okay, so I think he's going to try and bring the rest to us. Oh, Melio got them smooth um, moves. Oh no, he went through the door. I was hoping he wouldn't make it through the door. Um, what I might do, because I really would like to get someone to catch that thing. 
annoyingly actually I'm not sure what happens if you just if you fuse it with something as basic as a pitchfork <laughs> but maybe we'll try that uh, yeah, I don't know. Do we did get some up, some slightly upgraded items, but I think they might be Malio and Ames might have gotten something. Because Malio was using a spoon, now he's got an actual, like, one thing. Ames, I can't recall. And then Discus, this guy. Yeah! Oh, sorted. Alright, Rickle, make, it, make your way up here. I need you to try and catch that flame dude. Ooh. All right, cool, cool. Can you... Whoa, can oh, he gets close. Yeah! All right. Okay, so here we have it. Oof. I wasn't expecting him to be running this much today. So do we want to enchant <laughs> the Great Spear or a Legacy Point? Uh, it's up to you. Like, the Legacy Point uh, is cool because I said we can, like, make stuff and that later on if we want. But if you want... Just um, for now, in case we don't like get a better weapon at another point, you can make his uh, great spear, and you can make a plus one fire great spear. So you would actually gain a great spear, I think, rather than just having a pitchfork. Oh, maybe we we'll go with that then. All right. See. <laughs> He's just staring at his pitchfork. Yeah, and it is. Okay, right. so he did nice. get a great spear. All right, replace the pitchfork, and you can even name it. Um, as I mentioned before, which is one of the cool things about this, similar to some roguelike games that, that are out, um, you do ha your items um, uh, do carry over into other adventures. So if you start a brand new game, uh, you can come across uh, the items, I believe, of your previous adventurers. Or if you're or if you're playing the same adventuring party but previous members have died, um, you can also come across their their weapons mm. that as well. So you can call it uh, something new, and then yeah, if you play we play a, a, another game later on, uh, it can then reappear and be like, hey, that's the burning stick of Ricky or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, at the moment, we've got a better we've got a better weapon that also does fight. Hell yeah. I don't know what to name it. Me poker. It's me poker. One word. Mipoka. There, there we go. go. Rickle's got himself a new weapon. Hell yeah. All right, aim. Uh, let's see if we can hit. Oh, he can actually Ooh. hit. Can he hit that? Oh god. No, it's, it got twenty-eight percent chance. I think it's yeah, chance yeah, definitely. Hit this dude. Ah, he took cover. Didn't quite manage it. Oh damn. Oh, Ooh, Rickle might need to run. We're okay. We're okay. Uh. He's just a little splintered. He's still good. He's still good. Yeah, he's still good. He's still good. Infuse. Okay, if we infuse that, will you be able to hit? Oh, 75%. Nice. Uh, oh, you might as well just get the raccoon. Yeah, I might guess. as well. Yeah. Nice. nice. Couple of damage. All right. Now, do we want Rickle to stay should. there or do we want to bring him back? Well, he should be able to finish. Oh, okay. Uh, he's got eighty yep. percent chance to hopefully finish this off with his fire spear. Oh. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize he hit so hard. Yeah. Nice. That's a better weapon, I tell you. Luckily, uh, the thing spewed a bunch of corruption, but it didn't land on Rickle, so we're all good. Uh, I'm gonna just move this guy he uh, here. So Ames taking shot. Oh, can we do it? Oh, dealt with. All right. Is that. Yeah, that? that's it. Did it. That? All right, everyone. Easy done. Well, we got an enchant enchanted weapon out of that. Not only did we get a uh, up the next level of uh, weapon, so like a great spear, rather than just a pitchfork, but it's also in fire. So that was always that's good. And now we get pauldrons of elimination. Ooh, stunt uh, stunt chance. chance. So that is percentage chance that attacks will inflict additional damage and stunt effect. Should we give that to Rickle then? Because he's got the fire effect, I think. Yeah. It, it said he had a chance to um, damage up to three foes to stun, yeah. and stun. Might as well. Well, he's our front liner as yeah. well, so might as well chuck that on him. Yeah, he's kind of been um, getting most of the upgrades, to be honest. But hey, he's right in the face of everybody, so it kind of makes sense. All right. So now we can secure the place. And once again, uh, come on. Let's clean this place up. The locals shouldn't see it this way. 
Uh, so secure loth waiver works. So once again, we can either do a thorough investigation or just burn everything. <laughs> just burn what's not useful. Um, yeah. Uh, obviously, this one gets us an item. This one doesn't. Uh, this one takes. This is faster. Uh, but I think we might as well do this. I th we're, so far, yeah, we're I agree with that. Doing pretty well. I find that a weird one though. It's like, oh, we can't let the townspeople find it like this, and it's just like, all right then, we got it back for you. Burn <laughs> the whole thing to the fucking ground, rubble and all. <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> Enjoy. Yep. All right. So we had a thorough investigation, and then it's like, since I found it, so, since I found something, doesn't it seem like it should go to me. And like, what did we find? Fabrics, fabrics and knee pads of power. Bonus, bonus damage. damage. Oh, bonus damage could very well uh, go to him. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Yeah. Rickles been go getting for everything. It. Yeah. Uh, nice. Where are we? Okay, we've got defense, defense, defense. Uh, what, are we, what? Clear all hostile sites. So yeah, we were actually just trying to clear all the hostile sites. So, um, how many days do we have? I'll probably have enough time to do one more. Ooh. Okay, so we found this, but we have to actually clear these two places before we can. Do ah, this one. okay. Yep. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back and defend, build a defense here. Cool. So. Now we've got that done, and pretty much means in any direction they come from, um, the basic defense will, will slow them down. And yeah. We'll be able to actually uh, take them out. Because we're trying to keep them from howling home or whatever, isn't it? Is that the deal? Yeah, we're trying to keep them from our, our home um, uh, and and anywhere else, really. So ultimately, we don't want them to go to any of the places because they're of course. Like small areas. But uh, yeah, uh, the idea is that the, le the less areas they can uh, take control of, uh, the better for us. Almost to Lorien, Dim, aren't we? Train looks right. He was a tough but rich. That's the tallest point up ahead. We can get a lay of the land from there. <laughs> Don't see too keen on that. <sighs> that was steeper than it needed to be. Quite a view though, I'll say that. Oh, what's this? Ooh, an egg. Ooh. I'm a bit worried what else we'll find. Amos, this isn't safe. What a find! Alright, so these two don't want to pick it up, they want to leave it. Uh, whereas Amos is like, hey, hey, money! <laughs> oh, this is one thing couldn't break. And he goes 60%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's also got a 60% chance, apparently, of taking it and nothing happening. Ooh, so, I'll leave it up to you. Amos is yours. Alright, I'm doing it. Amos? It's fine, I'll just be two seconds. Now, how should I... I guess uh, this old flower... Is he going to Indiana Jones you know, that... it? <laughs> Amos, it's here. It's about to be... Something, something. I'm guessing a... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> Faster! In the bag, little buddy! Ugh. Duck! I don't think it's a duck. <laughs> that's one nasty-ass duck. They managed to scramble down safely the rest of the oh, way. Oh, that's lucky. That night. You're cooking something? What do you think? The egg. You didn't. Well, he said it was valuable. He, I was joking about the food, but he's right. <laughs> you really think ah. I would cook my prize? <laughs> you can't have your egg and or cake or... Anyway. Anyway, no. Just keeping him warm, my little crag eagle. <laughs> Next day. <laughs> Boiled crag eagle. I was waiting for one of them to go, hey, anyway, has anyone seen Rickle? Because he literally yeah, not like, bold. Like, I just, <laughs> he's just at the bottom there, like, that hill's too tall. You lot do that. I think, yeah, I think that's actually happened before as well, where, like, he's the, just the, not around. Yeah. Thing where someone's just not there, yeah. All right, all heroes plus one temporary hit points. Okay. Cool. So these are some new enemies. Yeah. Like, I don't think we're Dwer fine. Got weavers, four. dwervers, and thrusts. That's an egg. What? That's an egg. Ugh. Interfuse the egg. What's it do? Flare. Amplify the radiance of this light source to excruciating levels, blinding the night enemies. Okay. Well, that actually could Stop do a little go. something. Oh, a little bit of damage as well. That's pretty good. Blind them. That's cool. All right. Let's go infuse. 
The mushrooms. Wild grass from the mushrooms. Uh, oh, yeah. I see. So, like, tendrils come out and grab it or whatever? Yep. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, and then we'll get you to move up here. And then we'll get you to whack a bitch. 100%. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You lot might not invite me on your egg hunts, but I'll fuck up these things for you anyhow. <laughs> just hit, just band out, rickle when was, you need he was too busy. moments. <laughs> he was too busy, like, admiring his new spear. <laughs> yes, he's done it. <laughs> just look at his spear, polishing up his pauldrons. Uh, did he just destroy that? Oh, no, he didn't. He damaged the cover, I think, but he didn't destroy it. Cool. Uh, in that case, I'll get you to use that. Hat. And if Dilly wants to go bitch. ahead and discus the bitch. Oh, oh he blocked wait. it? Who, who oh, took, who took three damage? Yeah, I don't know. Actually, everyone's a little bit hurt. I think that three damage went between all of us. Oh, oh he blocked wait. it? Did it? I, don't, I can't tell. No, no, no. It's that, that's, that, that light colour is um, the extra... extra oh, colour. okay. My bad. Hmm. Alright, so that's those guys dead. Is there another one? In, they're or? probably up in the room a bit further. Yeah. Ah, oh, there he is. Can you infuse the fire? I bet you can. Here we go. Alright, boys. Ooh. Fire leash. Yeah, sounds cool. That does. Oh! Yeah. Big damage. <laughs> Nice. Burn. Oh, we're back to Rickle. All right, uh, Rickle. I guess. Oh, he can stand on the other side of the yeah. fire at least. Oh yeah, he can too. And Ames, Ames, I'm gonna have you on this side. Yeah. So you might be able to. He might be able to just. Oh, can you get him? Oh, 50 percent. I mean, might, might as, well. as well. Yeah. Oh, you got five him. damage. Oh, sweet. Okay. He's searching. He's that? searching. Oh, he's he's. How Someone? Did that do to oh, the fire spread. Oh, I the think. fire. Yeah, the fire spread on Rickle. Yeah, that's not okay, good. Okay, okay, that's all right. That's okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll come over here. Um, am I able to extinguish? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was Rickle's move, was it? Yeah. I'm just I see. Sure he could actually yeah. Can you? He can't actually do that. So you know what? I'm just going to extinguish this fire here as well. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't spread to us. One of the casters will and be then... able to get the fire up closer, won't they? Ooh, spread. Well, there's more fire up there. Yeah, that's what I mean. The fire closer to the uh, enemy. Yeah. yeah. All right, infuse that. Good job. All right, all right, Dilly. Come on, let's do it. Over and done with. Oh, yeah, that's what we want to see. That should be it, right? Burn. That is. Victory. Oh, great heroes. Oh, Rickle, what, leveled up or something? Yep. Rickle has grown strong. Okay. He's now a Blood Horn Warrior. That's Crazy. What we want to see. So we have Raider, uh, Untouchable, Sentinel, and he can upgrade his broad swings. Ooh. Uh, damage. Scales twice as much as the bonus damage. So just looking at uh, the um, benefits, one thing with Raider, as a swift action, he can start a fire. Wouldn't that be handy to allow them to use a fire leash? It would actually. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, or or break an, or or break a piece of adjacent scenery, dealing one damage to all foes adjacent to that scenery. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. You can either set something to fire or just like smash a door in. Yeah, and, and hurt damage people. enemies. Otherwise, when he gets a kill, uh, next attack against him within one turn will miss, which is pretty good for him being up the front. Sentinel replaces Guardian. He leaps up two tiles to intercept rather than Guardian. Ooh. Broad swipe damage scales twice as much with bonus damage. Yeah. So that damage two to two, that doesn't really seem like much of a benefit. The Raider mm. one actually feels like it could be tactically quite useful. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, with it. I mean, we can, we can always we can imagine that the uh, that the the setting fire is his actual spear. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, that is true. But with how these guys do so much damage with fire leash, that could be really handy. So we yeah, got some dusty drab. The patched shawl and long shirt of traveling mystics has, through history, informed the common petitionary that magical help is at hand. 
Thick enough to be roadworthy, this hardy stone guy serves better for battle than many might suppose. Alright, we give it to either Malio or Dilly. I'd say Mal- oh, actually Malio already had the wand, I think. Yeah, he got the wand upgrade, to be Did fair. We, have we given anything to Dilly? I don't think we have. Let's look at the upgrades. No, I don't think we have. She's she's yeah. new. Nah, walking stuff. Nah, still she's got nothing. Look yeah. at how much it upgrades yeah. if you go back. Hover over hers. So it takes it to 1.91 1 and 1.5. What's what's his? 1.9, 2.8. 1 but he's 2 got. So go down again. 5. She needs it more. Her spell damage and warning yeah, she is, 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 is all, lower. Yeah. Ooh. Grave Pelt Talisman. Uh, oh. So it, give, it just uh, gives a plus 0 0.5 armor. Ooh. Just a basic. Hover over Rickle. What does uh, the Snake Stone do? I forget. Mm, less dodge, but more armor. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know how important armor is. Mm. Otherwise, we can turn it into an ingot. I'd say, yeah. I mean, honestly, at the moment, I think maybe just give it to these guys. One of these guys. Maybe they don't have anything. Maybe Malio. He's got way worse armor than her now. Yeah. You know what? Let's bring his armor up yeah. to everyone else's standard. There we go. The Thrixel are slain. Battles led them down a boulderous room where grey grass matches the cloud colour. Someone doing dragon pictures. Hey, Malio. Old Malio Ironwood, the magic man. You badly hurt? Hmm? So what's your favourite monster? Oh, <laughs> this question again. I'd say Dr. Medleaf. Noble, but tragically fallen. Her story moves me. Gotta be a classic like a troll. I'd make a deal with him and we'd run a bridge building business to span old rivers. <laughs> Apparently Rickle's accent is rubbing off on his party members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was trying not to do it as much. I was just trying to do it like that. Uh, Those answers are uh, fine, but some of us always love a dragon. I know it's the most difficult monster of all, probably. I can't help it. Think about finding a clutch of dragon eggs hidden somewhere. Razor wanted to be more sarcastic and humorously voracious companion. That's a lot of big words for a fellow who swings a stick. Uh. <laughs> Can't wait until we're around a fire. The stories will soar. Oh, and a new enemy has appeared as well. Okay, some type of flying uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Hopefully everyone enjoyed that a bit, enjoyed our uh, funny... Uh, voices that we tried uh especially uh, uh ricky's uh rendition of um a butcher from uh <laughs> from uh, the boys uh but uh yeah uh if you haven't have enjoyed it liked it like subscribe all that good stuff otherwise this has been to be continued and see you next time see you in the next one later cunts